interacting with troops, in fact, number of times braving the odds of the weather. So I must at the outset convey my appreciation and thank each one of you for making this special effort because your inputs, your narratives and your analysis of issues, it's an important component of the messaging that we collectively uh, need to put across to the citizens. So I must thank you for playing this role responsibly and very well. The year gone by has seen a number of profound changes. The security and the economic fallout of the Russia-Ukraine conflict is known to us. We also see, or we have seen, complex relations in the global scenario. The impact of COVID, we still feel uh, the impact. In the immediate neighborhood, there are security challenges and I don't have to elaborate on them. Last but not the least, what has come to the fore is the limitless potential of disruptive technologies. So in this backdrop, very briefly, if I were to summarize the situation along our borders, and I shall take the northern borders first, I would say the situation is stable and under control, yet unpredictable. You are aware of the talks, ongoing talks, wherein we have been able to resolve five out of the seven issues that were on the table. And uh, we are continuing to talk both at the diplomatic as well as the military level. In terms of our preparedness levels, they remain of a very high standard. We have adequate forces, we have adequate reserves in each of our sectors to be able to effectively deal with any situation or contingency. You are also aware of the strategic reorientation or the rebalancing that we undertook some time back. Uh, I must mention that it is complete in uh, every respect. As far as the situation in the Jammu and Kashmir is concerned, I think the ceasefire understanding which came about in February of 2021, that is holding well. The cross-border support to terrorism and the terrorist infrastructure, however, uh, remains. In the hinterland itself, we have seen some of the proxy Tanzims which have been indulging in activities or acts purely with a view to gain visibility and remain in the news. But what is heartening is the reduction or marked reduction in violence parameters and the fact that the people of the state are partnering with the government in number of development initiatives. All this notwithstanding, we need to remain alert both on the line of control insofar as infiltration goes as well as in the hinterland.